Hello, and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Getting to Know Eclipse Part 9, Automated Proofreader, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable and utilize the automated proofreader, as well as how to access a sample file that shows you examples of all of the existing proofreader rules. Within Eclipse, the proofreader settings can be accessed through User Settings, under Production User Settings, or pressing Alt-U, or hitting the Settings cogwheel on your toolbar. In the Settings window, go to the Edit tab, and then go to Spell Options. In this window, there's a checkbox to simply turn the proofreader on and off. If the proofreader checkbox is checked, potential errors in your document will be flagged for your review, much in the same way that misspellings are flagged. As misspellings are underlined in red, proofreader marks will be underlined in blue. Turning the proofreader on and off is as simple as checking this box. However, the rules that power the proofreader are located in the Programming tab. If you go to Programming, there is an option that says Proofreading Rules. If I double-click on Proofreading Rules or select it and hit Modify, you see that this window is full and each line in the proofreading rules window represents a unique rule. The first item on each line is the name of the rule, followed by an equal sign, followed by the rule context codes. Some of these rules also call on macros, such as this rule that has a comma at the, or space at the beginning of a paragraph. This rule, if it finds this error, will call upon a macro that will delete that comma or space, and you can access that macro from the info bar when you're editing your document. So in addition to simply bringing your attention to potential errors, the proofreader is also able to make simple corrections using these built-in macros. And as a user, all you need to do to execute those macros is hit the appropriate number on the info bar. You don't need to remember any hotkeys or memorize any of these rules. These proofreading rules will be automatically generated in Eclipse, and you don't need to worry about building them yourself. However, if there are any that you don't like, you can highlight the rule and simply delete it to remove it from your list. If there are errors that you make frequently in your document that aren't marked by the proofreader, and you would like them marked by the proofreader, it's likely that tech support can help you create a custom proofreading rule that will bring those errors to your attention. In this instance, I'm going to leave all of the rules in place, and I'm just going to hit Cancel out of this window since I haven't made any changes. I'm going to press OK out of my user settings, and in Eclipse, there is an automatically included document that has examples of all of the proofreader errors. I'm going to make a copy of that document into my Jobs folder so that I can open it and practice with some of the macro commands. To do that, I'm going to go to my File Manager under Control F as in Frank. I'm going to go to the Browse tab. And under the Eclipse folder under Documents, I'm going to find the Lessons folder and press OK. And in this folder, there's a file called Eclipse Proofreader Examples. I'm going to select that file and hit Copy to, and select Job to make a copy of that into my Jobs folder so that I can look at it and modify it and practice with it without making any changes to the original examples. So I'm going to select Job and press OK. And now when I go to the Job tab in my File Manager, the Eclipse Proofreader example file is in my list, and I can open it. At the top of the Proofreader examples document, which is a total of 12 pages long, there are some instructional materials, and you see that immediately in this document, we have blue underlines indicating proofreader examples. The very first example in this document, you see that at the bottom left, it tells me the name of the rule, and that's double text. And also at the top of the info bar, it tells me the name of the rule as well, which is double text. In this instance, the first four options that I have are the most likely editing commands that Eclipse has provided to me. If I were to press one on my keyboard, it would remove one of the phrases some kind of, and it would leave me with when some kind of suspicious text. If I hit number two on my keyboard, it will separate the double phrases of some kind of with a comma. 
If I hit number three, it will give me the opportunity to define a speaker. The speaker definition option is provided since double words or phrases are often used as speaker designations by many users. And finally, number four for define name or term is a similar function. Again, users frequently use double strokes or phrases as briefs for longer terms. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and hit number one to get rid of the second some kind of. So I'll press one on my keyboard and you see that now I have only one instance of some kind of and the blue underlining has disappeared. Moving to the next example in the document, you see that if I put my cursor on double quotes, it tells me to verify quotation marks. And in this case, there are no built-in macros to correct this error, as it's not necessarily predictable where these quotes should be moved to or which or if they should be removed. And so in this instance, the proofreader mark would simply be bringing my attention to this text rather than offering solutions to it. If I don't wish to make any corrections at all, but I do wish for the blue underlining to disappear, I can simply hit escape and the blue underlining will disappear. In addition to finding double quotes, parens, or brackets, the proofreader will also highlight text that has an open paren or bracket, but no closed paren or bracket. Sentences that begin with spaces are highlighted. And you see that again, in this instance, I do have an option to simply delete the comma or space at the beginning of my paragraph. And you see that in the bottom of the left, the name of the rule that's being violated here is comma or space at the beginning. And so I can simply hit number two to get rid of the space at the beginning of the sentence. As you move through your document, you can use the commands in the info bar to address proofreader marks, or you can simply hit escape to dismiss them if you don't wish to take any action. Not all proofreading marks will necessarily be errors. Some may be simply things that are flagged for further attention to ensure accuracy. The proofreader has built-in rules for doubled up punctuation, as well as missing punctuation, as well as suspicious constructions of the verb be. In this instance, Eclipse offers me quick edits to change could been to could be and have be to have been. If I hit number two to remove the suffix here, the text is changed to could be. And if I move to have been and hit option number one to add suffix en, that phrase is changed to have been automatically with a single key press. In addition to just the wrong form of the word be, the proofreader will also note if the word be has been inverted. So in this case, this phrase should be would be, and I can simply hit number one to change be would to would be. There are hundreds of proofreading rules automatically built into Eclipse, and this document outlines them. If you make a copy of this document, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, it will ensure that you have a safe copy that you can make changes to and still retain a copy of the original example file if you ever wish to refer to it again, or if you wish to make a new copy of it to practice further with the proofreader. It is important to note that if you do wish to make use of the one-step corrections, from the info bar or in the pop-up window if that's your preference, auto magic must be enabled. If I go to my user settings, in addition to the edit tab, spell options, proofreader option being enabled, I also need to go to the display tab, click on view toggles. I also need to go to the view toggles window and check auto magic in order for Eclipse to be able to provide all the one-step macro corrections to the proofreader suggestions. If auto magic is not turned on, Eclipse won't be able to provide those one step corrections. However, the proofreader will still flag potential errors and the error name will still be listed in the bottom left. The proofreader corrections can be used with auto magic in the info bar or in the pop-up window, whichever is your preference. I recommend making a copy of this Eclipse proofreader examples document as I did earlier in the video so that all of the proofreader marks and commands can be practiced without having to produce them on your own. This document will give you a good overview of all of the potential errors that can be corrected with the proofreader and will truly highlight the number of keystrokes and the amount of time saved when the proofreader is employed in your editing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you will give the proofreader a try and use the sample document to become familiar with all the rules and quick corrections that are available.
It's truly a huge time saver during editing. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy our content, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thanks so much and have a great day.